Welcome to our informative session on what is a secured party creditor, definition, examples, and legal rights. I'm John Montague, an attorney with a rich background in secured transactions. Today, we're delving into the significant yet often misunderstood world of secured party creditors. Introduction to secured party creditors. Secured party creditors play a crucial role in the financial sector. They are the backbone of many financial transactions, ensuring stability and protecting investments. These entities, whether lenders or sellers, hold a security interest in a debtor's collateral. This role is not just about lending money, it's about creating a secure financial environment. Role and importance. The role of a secured party creditor is multifaceted. They provide funds or sell goods under agreements that include security interests in various forms of collateral. This could range from real estate and vehicles to equipment and inventory. Their involvement ensures that debtors are motivated to fulfill their obligations, providing a level of security in financial transactions. Collateral is a key element in these transactions. It varies widely, including tangible assets like consumer goods, vehicles and farm products to intangible ones like accounts and chattel paper. The creditor's interest in this collateral is perfected by either taking possession or filing a financing statement. This perfection is a critical legal step, ensuring the creditor's rights are enforceable against third parties. The legalities surrounding secured transactions in the US are governed by the Uniform Commercial Code, UCC. This comprehensive legal framework outlines the creation, perfection, and enforcement of security interests. It's crucial for creditors to understand the UCC's provisions to navigate the complexities of secured transactions effectively. Establishing a security interest begins with a written agreement. This document is the cornerstone, detailing the collateral and outlining the rights and obligations of both parties. Then the interest must be attached, which involves fulfilling certain criteria like value exchange and debtor's rights in the collateral. Finally, Perfecting this interest, typically through filing a financing statement, publicly declares the creditor's rights. Understanding secured transactions requires grasping its core components, the debtor, the secured party, the agreement, the interest, and the collateral. Each plays a pivotal role. For instance, the financing statement filed with a state agency is a public declaration that solidifies the creditor's claim. Lastly, secured creditors have specific rights and remedies. In case of default, they can seize and sell the collateral. They also have priority over unsecured creditors when it comes to distributing proceeds from sales. To protect their interests, conducting due diligence, assessing risks, and maintaining open communication with the debtor are essential practices. In conclusion, the world of secured party creditors is complex but integral to financial stability. Understanding their role, rights, and the legal framework they operate within is crucial for anyone involved in financial transactions. Remember, this information serves as a general guide, and it's always recommended to seek professional legal advice for specific cases. Thank you for joining us in this exploration of secured party creditors.